Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Sal Sabila Today I would like to present about Badal's optometer Before we go further on this topic All of us need to know first about optometer So basically, optometer is an optometric device Used to measure the refractive area of the human eyes Next, for your information The type of optometer can be divided into two classes Which is the first one is subjective and the second one is objective. For subjective, there are Badal, Chromatic, Young's Optometer, and China Disc. And for objective, which is commonly used such as autorefractor. All this type of optometer brings the same function which is to measure the refractive error in the human eyes. So, why we need to have Badal's Optometer? Because the problem of simple optometer is the target virgins and angular size are inversely proportional to the target distance. This concept can cause proximal accommodation. The solution of this problem is Badal's optometer, which is invented by Spanish ophthalmologist Jose Maria Badal in 1929. The function of this instrument is the same as the optometer. But the patient perceptions of the size of the target remains constant. This is significant because changing the size of the target can result in accommodation. We tend to accommodate more to smaller target. This is optical principle of Badal's optometer. Auxiliary, which is minus lens, placed between the target and the Badal lens. The eyes is positioned at the back focal point of the Badal lens, which is plus lens. So, secondary focal point is coincident with eyes primary focal or nodal point. The target in front of the lens is moved back and forth until it is clearly seen by the patient, which is clear when the image formed by plus lens is focused at the far point. The Badal lens is focused at the nodal point. Because the retinal image is focused at the nodal point, the retinal image size will remain constant as the object moves. That's all from me. Thank you.